this lecture we are going to learn how a freelancing career with GIS skill can change our life how much we can earn per day by using our GIS skill our GIS experiences in online freelancing platforms to understand all of this first of all we need to see the existing GIS freelancers profile we will see also existing GIS project budgets which will be inspirable for us First of all, let's see existing GIS freelancers profile in Fiverr.com. Fiverr.com, which is a freelancing platform for gig and service based freelancers. Say, now I am a buyer and I am going to search a simple GIS freelancers who can just simply digitize a map, which means who is providing a simple service map digitizing. Let's see if I search ArcGIS, press enter. Now we can see the freelancer service and gig list which provides map digitizing related gig. Here we can see already many GIS professionals are building their freelancing career in this fiber.com. Someone providing special analysis GIS mapping with $5. It does not mean his earning is only $5. Let me explain. Say, in this gig, we can see I will special analysis, GIS mapping, WebGIS, ArcGIS, other GIS. Let's see this gig. She is providing this service with $5 and delivery time will be 2 days. In here, she is also providing another service based on category. Basic category, standard category and premium category. In her basic category, she is earning $5 in 2 days only for this service and she is also providing standard service in where she is earning $40 in 2 days which is first delivery revision. So her 2 days income only from this gig is $40 and she has also another service in this gig $80. This one is also one day package so she can also earn $80 per day from this gig. Not only that, only from this gig she is earning this amount. She also has another gig in her profile. Let's see her profile. From one gig she is earning $5 to $80. And she has in total 5 gigs. Same as like that. And till now she has done these projects. And she has got 8 review which does not mean she has done only 8 projects. Say if you have done 100 projects from those 100 clients maybe 5 clients will give you 5 star feedback or review. Maximum client does not give feedback because of their laziness or whatever we can say. It is not mandatory all clients will give you feedback. So from her all projects she has got 8 review with 5 rating. Let's see her another gig or service. We already have seen that from this gig, her minimum earning is $5 to $80 per day. And here is her another gig in where she is also earning $5 to $30. So can you imagine that from these five types of gigs, how much she is earning at this moment? Let's leave this profile. We can see another one, this one. Here is a person who is providing a service. I will do anything you need on ArcGIS or QGIS. His basic package is $25 in 2 days. In this package, he is providing plot, export and data conversion simply this work. All of us know that we can do this simple task maximum within 2 or 3 hours. But we should not take risk. We will provide maximum delivery date so we can avoid the risk of deadline. Now let's see his standard package in where he is earning $40 in 3 days. In this package, his service is 2D spatial analysis. Now let's see his premium package in where he provides 3D spatial analysis and others within $55. Not only that, we can consider this his minimum income because a client can increase the number of service. Only one service he is earning $55. Say in here, if I increase the number of service, he will earn $110. So, can you imagine how much he is earning from his freelancing career by using his GIS skill? 
This is the income of his one gig. Let's see how many gig he has in his profile. He has seven gig inside his profile. Fifteen dollar, ten dollar. It does not mean he is earning only fifteen dollar. This is the minimum dollar he is earning from this gig. Eighty-five dollar. It means his minimum earning is eighty-five dollar from this gig. If we click in this gig. This income can be increased based on client's requirement. I hope now you have understand how much a freelancer can earn by using his GIS skill. A GIS professional can earn more than other freelancers by using his GIS knowledge because there are many GIS projects but few numbers of GIS professionals exist in freelancing platform. And not only that, if we use web gis then our income will be increased more than this say the minimum income of web gis we can see hundred dollar if we see this one his minimum income from this web gis gig or service is fifty dollar but basically he is earning three hundred dollar per gig or more than this so can you imagine by using our GIS knowledge just only from our desktop GIS knowledge our monthly earning can be more than thousand dollar and if we learn web GIS we have web GIS experiences then our earning from freelancing platform will be more dollar for better income you should increase your GIS knowledge to web GIS you can learn web GIS from our web GIS courses so we have learned how much a GIS professionals can earn by using online freelancing platforms. Now let's see the GIS project budgets in existing freelancing platforms. This is Upwork platform in where our best freelancers and project based freelancers can work. In here freelancers need to search the project then send the proposal for a particular project client will award them based on their nice proposal see if i search a project simply with arcgis see this project arcgis specialist in here a freelancer can earn 30 plus dollar per hour can you imagine this if a freelancer get this project and he completed this project in one day by doing five hour or say 10 hour his one day income will be 150 to 300 dollar minimum let's see another project this one this is project based freelancers project first one was hourly based freelancers project and this one is project based freelancers project which is fixed price project in here a freelancer can earn 100 dollar and from this project a freelancer can earn 10 to 30 dollar per hour see and this is one month project with 30 dollar plus hourly rate so from simply gis project a project based freelancer also can earn more rather than his existing job now if we search a simply qgis if you don't know arcgis just know qgis you can earn also more rather than your daily work these are the project budget of this simple skill and can you imagine if we use web gis for our search you will earn more a fronted gis solution with cmb app arcgis api just only from this project a freelancer can earn two thousand dollar so these are the existing situation of gis freelancers in this freelancers global market freelancing is a nice platform to create your GIS business. After doing some freelancing GIS projects, you will create your publicity around the world. In this way, you will get automatically GIS projects from your previous clients. You can easily create your own GIS organization with some employees. I hope these examples and freelancers profile inspired you to start your freelancing career by using your GIS skill. Remember, more you learn GIS, more you can earn. So this is the purpose of our this type of course earning by learning GIS. Now start planning to start your freelancing career by using your GIS knowledge which is more valuable than other sectors. Best of luck.
Now let's start running in the way of freelancing by using our car of GIS. Enjoy GIS.